Hi, I'm Dr. K. Patel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your slit lamp and a parallel pipette section to image the cornea. Being able to perform a good optic section scan of the cornea is fundamental to any slit lamp routine, but some corneal abnormalities show up best with a slightly wider optic section known as a parallel pipe. Rather than a narrow section of tissue, a parallel pipe creates an illuminated cube of tissue and the greater light scatter can reveal certain abnormalities. Wider beam is scanned across the cornea using the same pattern as an optic section. Temporal limbus to center, then center to nasal limbus, with additional scans to cover the upper and lower portions of the cornea. It's slightly more difficult to judge whether this widened optic section is sharply in focus throughout the scan pattern because the sharp delineation of the layers is not as clear as for an optic section. As for the optic section, a medium magnification of around 16 times is a good place to start. You will need to increase the magnification to 25 times to view the detail of the smallest abnormalities. Remember to increase the illumination to compensate. While scanning with a parallel pipe, the operator must use both direct and indirect viewing of structures. Direct viewing means looking at the structures that are lit directly by the light. Indirect viewing means looking at the structures close to, but not directly lit by the light. Certain corneal abnormalities, for example, keratic precipitates, show up better using indirect viewing because of their composition. Often, indirect viewing is achieved simply by the clinician moving the joystick slightly so that the light beam is just to the side of the area of interest and directing their attention to the corneal tissue next to the light. However, it's also possible to uncouple the illumination and observation systems. Shift the illumination slightly towards the edge of the observed area and view the indirectly illuminated area of the cornea. If you do uncouple, don't forget to recouple the device before moving on to the next stage of the examination. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. And if you'd like this video, come back to watch more. Or you can learn more at Topcon Healthcare University.